you guys, I'm doing it. I'm going to try and I'm going to attempt and we're just going to go for it. And by it, I mean <laughs> uh, blogging. I don't love vlogging. I don't like that. I don't love the idea of it. But it's just one of those reoccurring thoughts that just won't go away. And I have learned the hard way that you have to listen to your reoccurring thoughts, even if you don't love them, because it's your reoccurring thoughts that lead you to really great things. And maybe this won't be really great, but I'm going to do it anyway. So this week, uh, I got braces. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? I hope you can't tell. I got Invisalign this week and I feel like a schmuck because I didn't have to get them if it weren't for my own stupid decisions, right? So I had a retainer in my mouth, like a built, like a permanent one on the inside of my bottom teeth. Now I was supposed to get this out in like the sixth grade. So last year I got my wisdom teeth out and I remember telling my dentist like, take it out like I don't need it I should have got it out 19 years ago right and so we took it out and then my teeth started to move and then they started to hurt and now I wish I never would have taken it out so this week I did get Invisalign you can kind of see it when you're up close right and you just pop them in and you leave them in there except when you eat and if you're wondering how that's been going for me so far, it about looks like this. My teeth hurt so bad <laughs> that I just can't sleep. That's how bad my teeth hurt. So I had to take some ibuprofen. What a ride. <laughs> I did not sleep well. I don't want to go to work. <laughs> I'm cold and I'm tired. Just barely, I forgot about my retainers in Sacrament and so when I put the bread in my mouth I panicked because I didn't know what to do because I had them still in so I just swallowed it whole. <laughs> so basically it's just a really expensive mistake. I'm just trying to correct it and then the permanent retainer will go back in. And our usual Sunday routine of getting ready for church went as it usually does. Okay, we'll pick out a bowl. What the heck? No, <laughs> oh, Daddy, go get it. I think it looks better on you than me. Go punch it. Go, go to Jack. Did you do it? Yeah. Okay, good job. Good job, eh? This is my. Oh, this is my drawer. It's mine. It's mine. Yes. What the heck? It's mommy's. You want Al's Instagram? Stop it. You need an Instagram photo, babe. Stop it. You need an Instagram photo, babe. My pants. My pants. Say granola. Granola. <laughs> Say Scooby Doo. Scooby Boo. <laughs> Scooby Boo. What is that? Profit. A what? A profit? <laughs> Open. Open. <laughs> oh, I did it! Good job. Eat it. Eat it. I cut Ben's hair this week. I guessed. I just. I just guessed. <laughs> Muscles, baby, muscles, yeah. Oh, muscles. 
Just kidding, I don't have one. I like a fish. A fish! <laughs> so, one on top. Haircut. We're gonna get a haircut. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Good? Yeah. This week my reoccurring thought was not only to do this, but to go to the temple. And so, Ben and I have learned to listen to that thought to go to the temple, even if it's severely inconvenient. We're really good about going to the temple together every month, but sometimes both of us just wake up with that feeling that we just gotta go. So we do it and we go without each other if that's the feeling we get. So I'm here at the Bountiful Temple. I have a um, bunch of family names in here that I'll be doing, but I also have a whole bunch of names that I leave here in our ward drawer. So anyone in our ward can go and do names that anyone drops off. So I'll check and see how many of those got done. I, you know, my favorite part about the temple is maybe you don't learn something new and maybe the answer you were looking for didn't come, but every time without fail every single time that you leave that temple you are leaving protected and you are leaving strengthened and answers and help will come as you live and i think that is absolutely amazing my trick to going to the temple is there such a thing as a trick i receive the most out of the temple when i go and i close my eyes and i just stop listening now I know that sounds a little crazy, but it's when I close my eyes and I let my mind and my thoughts wander. It's in my wandering thoughts in the temple that I am actually able to receive revelation. And it's in my wandering thoughts in the temple that I actually am more productive with the spirit. And that's how I receive revelation is letting my mind wander and letting the spirit kind of just guide my thoughts. And that's where new stuff comes. That's where I, new ideas and strength and the opportunity to realize what I need to change. All of that comes when I like zone out for a minute and just have that one-on-one -on -one time with the spirit. We also found some really great news this week. Christian's had this ear infection for almost an entire month. He's had to go to the doctor twice. We had to switch his medicine because it wasn't working and it was getting worse. So we had to go to the doctors this week to see if it got any better. If it didn't, he would have to get drains put in his ear. Thanks. No. Ew. So this is where Christian was at last time. So hopefully it's getting better so we don't have to drain it. Christian, don't. Don't, that's happening. Christian. Face. <laughs> and luckily it went completely away so that's great news and then we went out to eat buffalo wings to celebrate which is also really great news <laughs> Yeah, teriyaki, get a little sweet factor, spicy garlic. That's my favorite. And then try seasoning buffalo. Yeah. That's the best. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd you call? Spider-Man. You called Spider-Man? Also, last week I went to the recording studio. This is where all the fun happens, right? <laughs> you guys are like, yeah, right. <laughs> and this week I have a deadline I need to hit with my publishers. Can you just picture this for a sec? Four in the morning? Hey, that doesn't click. Like, what on earth? And I'm not kidding. Mr. Sugar, it came out of nowhere. It's so I am trying so well, hard. I'm listening to my talk and I'm trying to figure out a title for my fireside that's coming out. <laughs> for my fireside that's coming out, it's I have to figure it out today. I have to send it in today and I have no idea what I'm calling it, so I'm listening to it. And I have to listen to all of my bad jokes. Maybe that's what I should call it. 
Al Caraway, bad jokes. I'm torn between something just simple, like Al Caraway live or something. I don't know, maybe, maybe it just needs to be super simple. Or maybe it should be more specific about what it's actually about. So yes, it's about like my conversion, but mostly it's about really hard times. It's about doing things we don't want to do or doing things that God asks to do and we don't know why we're doing it. It's about the times where we don't know if he's there for us or if he's real or, you know, just those times where we wonder like, where are you? Like, do you care still about me? And so here I am, screaming at God, wondering why? For blessings that haven't even happened yet? So essentially, it's, yeah, about my conversion, but it's mostly about how to keep going in hard times. And so I was having an idea of, well, I say, like, overcome and conquer a few times in it, so maybe that's, like, a reoccurring theme. Like, maybe it should be called overcoming and conquering, or overcome and conquer, or, I don't know, maybe it's just called keep going, or how to keep going in hard times, or, I don't know, choosing God. So I'm torn, I'm still torn whether it should just be something simple, Al Caraway Alive, or maybe it needs to be more specific about like what it's about. As the weeks progress, I am expecting to get better at this. So you just hold on tight and you just subscribe and you just hang out with me and watch this either crash and burn or, or get better. It's one or two options. We're gonna figure this out. It's gonna be really good at one point. Maybe it's on week 30 of our vlog, but we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it anyways. You know what I mean? Just going for it. <laughs> but mostly I want to do the same thing I do with like my Instagram and, and that is I want to post with a purpose. And so at the end of all of my videos with whatever we did that, that week, I want to end with like a spiritual message and just montage other highlights and other things that we did that week during it. So after at the end of every video, I'm going to give you a spiritual message that I came up with and then just montage it with, I don't know, whatever else we filmed this week. I hope you tune in and subscribe for next week's vlog. I will be in California and I'll be speaking twice in Danville, California. So that'll be really exciting to kind of show you like the behind the scenes of a speaker life because it's kind of porky <laughs> and also sometimes it's just not what people think it is it's actually pretty far from what you think it is so be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me along next week when I go to California to speak and in the meantime here is my spiritual message that I came up with for you for this week so let's roll the montage boop, boop. the truth is our trials, our circumstances, our likes or followers, or how other people see us will never alter the unchanging truth that this is all real. The gospel is real. Eternity is reality. God really does love you. And Christ really did die for you so you can become better and happier. He died so that we may live. So let us live well. You get to decide how your day should be. Decide to be happy today, even in your trials and with other people's shortcomings. Decide to stay focused on what really matters and what affects our eternity. Decide to love and be an example. Love yourself and take care of your soul. Decide to laugh a lot and follow God. Take time every day to tell him everything. Live the gospel and eat lots of tacos. Be a little better than who you were yesterday. Exist to be happy, not impressed. Experience forgiveness and extend forgiveness. Don't let a bad day make you feel like you have a bad life. Drive with your hair and your windows down. Quit worrying over things that don't matter. Do not let anything dim your faith, slow you down, or diminish the truthfulness of God's promises to you. His promises are so real and they never expire. Just relax. Enjoy life and enjoy it being completely true to who you are and who God wants you to be. Today is the start of anything you want. This day will never happen again. Make it count. And I am sending love and prayers your way.